The U.S. House Committee on Rules will vote on a resolution condemning the governor's latest move. The governor's ban makes no distinction between law-abiding citizens and those who break the law. Republican U.S. Representative Tom Tiffany denouncing Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham's 30-day ban on open and concealed guns in public places for Albuquerque and Bernalillo County. This ban does nothing to curb gun violence. However, the order has nothing to do with public health and only serves to infringe New Mexicans' rights while not preventing crime or violence. The governor enforcing the ban following multiple acts of gun violence over the past few weeks. This 11-year-old and all these parents who have lost all these children, they deserve my attention to have the debate about whether or not in an emergency we can create a safer environment. Because what about their constitutional rights? The ban struck down by a federal judge for now. And we don't actually know if this resolution is going to come up for a vote. Is the rule that would have brought that resolution to the floor couldn't even get enough votes to get out of the rules committee. Representative Melanie Stansberry, whose district contains most of Albuquerque, says she plans to vote no on what she calls the GOP's effort to undermine New Mexico's executive to distract from House Republicans' complete inability to govern and pass a budget. We need a comprehensive solution. We need to ban automatic weapons and get them off the streets. There should be no place for weapons of war on our streets and certainly not in our schools. Stansberry having this to say when we asked her of her plans to help tackle crime in Albuquerque. Until we're able to get a Congress that has a backbone strong enough to take this issue on, it's going to have to fall to the state and the local level. And the New Mexico legislature.